So I'm gonna stop in and see if he doesn't mind if I film him a little bit. He hates being on film. Oh. But the thing I'm pissed off about is why didn't you tell me you were coming? What's up guys? I have a little treat for the vlog this week. I am stopping by my parents' condo before I head to work and I'm going to try to get some footage of my dad training. So I'm gonna stop in and see if he doesn't mind if I film him a little bit. He hates being on film, but the internet loves George DeFranco, so uh, I'm gonna try to coerce him into letting me film. My dad is 70, if you don't already know, you'll never know by looking at him. Uh, unfortunately, once you get to 70, you know, his body is destroyed. He's got a, a complete shoulder replacement. The other shoulders got torn, uh, completely torn rotator cuff. Uh, I don't think he's, he's gotten that one fixed all kinds of low back lumbar spine problems uh, severe arthritis throughout his body but he's still training obviously he can't train like he used to but I, I try to I try to tell him the rest of the world would be super impressed to see that he's still training every day and and with the intensity that he trains working around a ton of injuries but he's still doing it, he's still getting after it. Like I said, the internet loves him, so I'm gonna try to stop at the condo gym and get some workout clips for you guys of my dad, George DeFranco, training at 70 years old. But, it's, I, but you'd be surprised. A lot of people wouldn't be able to keep up with the workout just because of the pace of it. You yeah. might not think you're going heavy, but the pace of it, there's some strong, healthy people that wouldn't be able to go through this workout. And, uh, well, I guess you would know, I can make 30 pounds feel like 60. Yeah, you could tell. You're squeezing you know, everything squeezing. and slowing yeah. down the tempo. I, I want to get the pump, and I want to make, make sure it works. But... Uh, Somebody would say, what, what the hell are you doing? I said, but it's working for me. It's working for me. I, I'll tell you, it makes me feel just so good. Thank God. I mean, I love coming down here. It clears my head. and it, I just feel good the rest of the day. Yeah, it's more than just the physical aspect at this point. It's like you just feel better on days you work out. But the thing I'm pissed off about is, why didn't you tell me you were coming? <laughs> Because <laughs> I knew you wouldn't want me to come, you would you would have kicked me out. So yeah, I just exactly. snuck here. I, I would have prepared a couple of days before. I would have wanted you know bolt up or 
it's trimmed down or lose some weight. But you don't give yourself enough credit, like, uh, for, and I know you don't want to hear 470 years old, but you say you have no size or anything anymore. You have more muscle than 99.999% of the 70 year olds or 60 or 50 year olds uh, on the planet right now. So I don't know no, what you're I, talking I about. No. I guess I, You're comparing yourself I to when you were 30 and were bench pressing 450 pounds and breaking people's arms. See, I'm easy to get to my head. Uh, you think? Somebody, somebody that hasn't seen me, say, in 15, 20 years, they all say the same thing. What, what, what happened to you? <laughs> why, 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 why are you so skinny? Uh, oh, and that's, that's what gets to my head. And then I start an argument with them. You know? And I'm sure they look great from what they looked like yeah, 15 yeah, exactly. years ago. Exactly. That's what I feel like saying. Look at you. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? Most people with all the injuries that you've had would just not work out. Before I come down here, I got to take certain things so I can get through the workout. Then after I'm done with the workout, I have to take my pain medication. I have to take my arthritis medication. <laughs> I mean, that's really ridiculous. But, uh, but I still have to come down here. This is the best medicine for me. For me, but like I said, not to repeat myself, but when somebody says to you, what do you do? Work out, how, how can I possibly explain what I do? They would never get it. And sometimes I come down here and just do quarter reps. That's because I, I'm in so much pain, I just do quarter reps, but I still come down. Sometimes full range of motion, most of the time, uh, I would say I can't do it. But I, when I can, I do it. Yeah. So it's a variation of so many things. So how do you explain to somebody, Explain to me what you do in your workout. I can't. Yeah, and that's where it's, everybody's got, that's why it's better you just work out by yourself because yes. you don't need to explain yes. it to everybody. You do what you can do exactly. and what works for your body, and, and you don't have to explain it. All I need is somebody to come down here and say, you know, you're doing the exercise wrong, and uh, you know what happens there. You know what pisses George DeFranco off? What would happen if somebody would said, can I, uh, sir? He'd be, uh, he'd be eating that 25-pound plate. But anyway, that's... Right, well, thanks for letting me stop by and not kicking me out. Yeah, well, I owe you one. So it is Saturday morning. It is freezing out. We're in the middle of a snowstorm. But no days off in our world. I am heading to the gym. I am meeting the guru, Dr. Tom Bellella. He's making his way down the New Jersey Turnpike this morning to record episode number 95 of the Industrial Strength Show. Our nutrition podcasts are always a big hit, so we're gonna do another one for you guys today. We'll uh, give you a little behind the scenes of that podcast because Mr. Sampson, my cameraman, is meeting me at the gym, and Cameron, I believe, has a session today with some high school kids. So you guys have requested you wanted to see some high school training, so uh, we'll see you at the gym. Yeah, I told my lawyer. All right, take the credit card off of that. Yeah, that that they that really pissed me off. All right, you can always call the guru too, you know. But what did you do? My wife's half Puerto Rican, half Jewish. You know what she makes for dinner? Reservations. <laughs> <laughs> How long are we going to do the Healthy 7 for? I just want to sit 10% off. 7% off. Healthy 7. Oh, 2017. Oh, okay. We can kick it with 10%. No. No, there's no room. So you need a guy like me. Anyway, I had a point. Hey, full circle. What are we doing now? Joe, I want you to take me to your house. Feed me. But wait, what do you mean blow? This is a, a, a family, family atmosphere. But I was telling, I was telling Guru, it's like something about that. I don't think it's the, the the exogenous ketones. I think it's the ketogenic diet. You have people that are for it, love it, and then the people that are like, no, you need carbs. Like they they argue. It's like politics. But what's all right? Here so we go. What's happening here? Blue, yellow, red, green. What what's good? What's ketones in your system? Uh, yellow. It's gonna be trace. And then get into it. All right. Guru out, I gotta do more ketones. So I didn't get into yellow, okay? It goes blue, yellow, green, red, red your ketoacidosis. Okay, so I gotta take more exogenous ketones. I did <laughs> up this morning, I had three slices of toast, um, which usually <laughs> I don't. But point is, is that I didn't take enough ketones, I took my ketones two hours ago, but usually every is time Is it I not enough ketones, or is it that you had toast? With probably, the, probably the ketones, I did them two hours ago, and I diluted them too much, because someone came to the office and I gave half away. 
But normally when I do the max pack or just any, I go into, I score about a 36 or 40, which is trace to moderate ketones, okay? So the way you check ketones, you can do urine, which is inaccurate, okay? You can do the blood droplet, which is the most accurate, but it's inconvenient, yeah. and I get, I get the patience of a flea. So I want to do this, 30 seconds, boom, you can see your ketosis. So Cameron's walking around probably, he wakes up, his ketones are 0 0.4. We all got some ketones. You got a good amount of ketones. You're going to be trace ketones here. So exogenous ketone packet is of the ketone. Mental focus, energy, the ketones are four carbon fat. Where's the book I have? Ketones. Ketones. Now you have these ketones in your system. Ketones. Ketones. Ketones are four carbon fatty yes. acid. I haven't had my ketones today yet. What's a ketone? What the hell are these? <laughs> Those are ketones. Yeah. So we're playing around with this 1080 Sprint machine right here. I've got a high school wide receiver today. He's going to be doing some five meter sprints on here. There he is over there. And so this thing, you can see it's loaded up right here with a bunch of random weights we're putting on there. That's to hold it down in place because we're going to do some pretty heavy sprints. So as you can see, I just did a sprint against 20 kilos of resistance. And on the screen here, it gives me a graph showing me each step, how much power output I put on each step. It also tells me the time I covered the distance. So for a five meter sprint, I just kind of loosely went. I did 1.56 seconds. These are all the, all the different data that you're looking at here. You got speed, force, power. It allows us to get an idea of what these guys are capable of doing against a lot of resistance. And each of these is a different step. So I can see if I have an imbalance. I can see if I'm not producing the power I want to see. Uh, against this much resistance and I mean this thing can really do it all so we're gonna play around with some very heavy sled loading today with this high school wide receiver just five meters right off the ball and uh, we're gonna see what happens in a couple weeks by doing it. I forgot it at home but I did not pay you for uh, last week's vlog so here's your paycheck. Thanks. Oh wow look at this. I mean you're welcome no problem buddy. Thank you thank you Joe. By the way, I grabbed the wrong one. That's the half-open one that I've already eaten. Wait, what? If you can't tell by these guns. This is bullshit. Is it, it expired? Like, what like is this shit? Left in there. <laughs> what is this shit? It's not expired. I just ate half of it. Tell. It jerk off. Um, the guru is back with us. Uh, Dr. Tom, welcome back to uh, Industrial Strength Headquarters on this snowy Saturday. Yeah, Joe, I got a lot on my mind today. Some good. And maybe some not so good, and it has to do with you, but this does remind me, that's right, Joe, this does remind me the first day we actually met circa 2000. I thought that I had already cracked the code on nutrition and hypertrophy. I don't know if I ever mentioned I was Mr. New Jersey in 1995, <laughs> and I was working with... You just with broke the record one minute mm -hmm. and 20 seconds. I was working with the right. top natural fitness models and bodybuilders, and all my guys and girls either won the show or they won their, I guess, weight class, so I was kind of known... That's where the guru name started, by the way. Oh, you gotta okay. go see the guru. So I thought I was like the cat's meow. 16 years later, I realized I didn't know as much as I thought then, and I'm still, as you get older, Joe, you know, you might not know as much as you think as the science of nutrition and training evolves. This time, we thought, hey, let's let, you know, again, I won't say he doesn't need any more praise, but the guru, whenever he comes on the show, they are very popular shows. Uh, some of our most downloaded shows, very informative, very entertaining. So you guys have a lot of questions whenever he comes on. You say, oh man, that was great, but ask him this next time, ask him that next time. So we said, you know what? Enough people requested. Let's do an open Q&A type of show. Let's talk Let nutrition. Stump the guru. Intermittent fasting, you've probably heard of it, which is where you go to a certain period of time without eating. Now, I'm sure you're going to pick up on a certain question, 
But I just want to kind of tell you what intermittent fasting, like the three types of intermittent fasting out there. There's the 12 hours where you go from dinner to breakfast the next day. So you finish up dinner at 7 and then you have breakfast at 7. So you went 12 hours without eating, hence intermittent fasting. Some people then do 16 hours. You go from dinner to lunch, all right? And then there's 24-hour intermittent fasting, which is, of course, day-to-day. -day. Now, actually, I'm looking at notes where I was at from a seminar, and there is, I think, some positives in intermittent fasting and maybe some negatives in intermittent fasting. In my opinion, my observation is that intermittent fasting can be very effective for those with insulin resistance, okay? Someone like a 50-year-old with a lot of belly fat, insulin resistance, pre-diabetic, Intermittent fasting first came to my attention, I think, from John Berardi. Do you remember John Berardi? Of course. Yeah, so we used to speak at the Swiss seminars, and he was, he was like, recommending for almost everyone to get lean. And I'm not sure it's right for everyone. Back to a guru philosophy, one size fits nobody. So I go, I need to get three meals by 3 p.m. and five by nine. I'm like, you know what? That's kind of catchy. And I'm always looking for catchy things to keep my patients and clients aware of what they need to do. Brian Cushing remembers it to this day. So for real? His takeaway is the really? three by three. Get right. at least two meals in before you train. Yeah. You know, it's so, kinda, so it works. So that has nothing to do with like individual macronutrients, of course, are a whole nother conversation. What's up, guys? I just got done recording the podcast. Another great show. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes footage. <laughs> it's never a dull moment when Dr. Tom comes to town. Lots of shenanigans, uh, but also lots of knowledge bombs. So hopefully you enjoyed that, that inside behind the scenes look. Now I am just trying to get home as quickly, but as safely as possible. The roads are awful. It's like a, a blizzard here in New Jersey. Roads are awful, but I don't want to miss the start of the Houston Texans playoff game. Today is the first weekend of NFL playoffs, and as many of you know, Houston Texans linebacker Brian Cushing is a longtime client and friend of mine. He started with me back in 2003 in the storage closet. Kush is an OD, an original disciple of DeFranco's. Anyone who follows our YouTube channel, when we moved into our second facility and YouTube, like 2007, when YouTube started becoming big, that's when we started posting training footage of Brian Cushing at the time he was in college. And Kush's training videos were always some of the most popular YouTube videos oh, oh. on our channel. So even you non-football fans got a chance to see some behind the scenes of Kush training in college, uh, training for the NFL Combine once he got into the, into the NFL. And it's just been the coolest thing to be a part of his career um, from his high school days to becoming a college All-American to a first round draft pick in the NFL. He just became the all-time leading tackler in Houston Texans franchise history. That is a huge feat. Uh, he's now in his eighth year in the NFL. So, uh, you know, for me, knowing him since he was a high school kid, to watch him on the biggest stage in sports on national television, it's like the coolest thing. It's, it's one of the best parts of our job is kind of living vicariously through your client's success. and. Nobody's been more successful than Brian Cushing. Uh, nobody's been more loyal to the gym than Cush. So I'm looking forward to watching him play and uh, hopefully kicking some ass. Wow, two robo offensive line around now and their program here. Their car is Brian Cushing. They're taking down the team he's marked on the first play from scrimmage of the second half. Cushing was here last year when they lost 30 to nothing and he. You know what pisses me off? People that watch Joe's videos but don't subscribe to his channel. So look, stop pissing me off and subscribe now. Thank you.